Hello, my crafty friends. It's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and it's Monday night. So we are going to craft, get a little creative, and I don't have a paper plate. Where's my paper plate? Hello? I got some paper plates somewhere. Oh well, I'll just have to paint on the glass. I don't know where my paper plates are. I know I brought some out here. Hello, everybody. I'm looking for paper plates, and this table is so full, they could be right in front of me, and I would never see them. <laughs> hey, Luann. Hello, Susan. Hello, everybody. Hello, Judy. I'm so glad to be back. I have missed all of you. I'm sick of the snow. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Hey, Marcia. All right, I'm just going to sit here and paint some of this paper. Doing a little prep work while we're saying hello. Hello, Marcia. Hello, Melinda. Where is the open? Okay. So, I don't know where my paper plate is, but we're just going to make do without the paper plate. I have... This is the only clear spot on my table. Everything else is... Even up here, there's stuff and there's stuff. <laughs> this is going to be one of those lives where I'm just kind of going to shoot from the hip a little bit. Hey, Patty. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Gina. Hello, Mel and Kathy. Um, and I'm prepping a little bit of this paper just for a minute <coughs> for something in the craft that we're doing. Hello, Elizabeth. Hey, Joy. I am. I'm still a little bit kind of cruddy a little bit, but it's, it's, it's going away. <laughs> It's going away, and the snow is going away too, and I'm so thankful for that because I'm tired. I'm done with winter. Yes, Tammy. Hello, Carol. Hello, Barbara. Happy Monday. Hello, Sherry and Tina. All of my friends. I have missed everyone so, so much, um, and I'm ready to be crafty. Even though I've kind of been doing little crafty things by myself, it's not as fun as it was with y'all. Hey, Karen. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I've been tromping through the snow in my craft, into the craft room, <coughs> but um, today it was starting to kind of melt because we got up in the 40s today. Um, hey, Donna. Hey, Susan. And I, um, so it started melting a little bit so he could shovel it because it was just like ice, like ice, ice, ice. Is the gingerbread in the background? The Gingerbread Baker Man, I think. Um, you can message me, and we'll, I'll see if that's what you're talking about. Hey, Danielle. Happy Monday. Hello, Sheila. Bring on the rain. Yes, we want it to wash it all off and all away. And I don't know if I'm going to actually... Yes, Vicky. This little, this little snow lady, she has a story to tell. She is, this was January's box for the subscription. And if you're wanting to get in it, I'm going to open it up the 1st of the, of February. I'm not sure on the date yet. I'm trying to nail that down. Um, cause a lot of things have to go on in the background to make all of the subscription stuff happen. Um, hey Vicky, hey Sheila. Um, so anyway, so she was this month, I did this yesterday with my subscription group. Um, and we had lots of fun with her because she ended up looking like um, Queen Elizabeth, and we think that she needs a purse. <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest, though? Her little scalloped. I dotted all of this and made little scallops, and everybody else has painted theirs bright colors like Queen Elizabeth. You know, she wore all those bright suits and stuff. <sighs> hey, Lori, we're making little... Um, we're going to craft with these. Um, so, anyway... So this was a subscription, and so the story is that December's box was the boy snowman that goes with her. Well, I looked everywhere and everywhere for him, and I finally come to the conclusion that he got packed up in my Christmas decorations. So she won't be seeing her friend until 11 months from now, and or, you know, whenever. And so um, she looks like she is going out on the town, and we, we joked because this snowman back here, he's like, hey, how you doing? And uh, so now she's standing over there by him. <laughs> hey, Sabrina. Sabrina is a newbie. Welcome, welcome to my page. 
Um, she needs pearls. Well, she has this little neckline on her dress. And it's got little pearl looking little dots on there. So, you know, I tried to do what I could. But everybody in the group, they, they post the ones that they've painted. And they are so stinking cute because they did them lime green and blue and all these bright colors. <coughs> Your scallops are Rick rack. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me because I still have all this. Ugh, but it's better. Um, yes, it's so, it was so much fun. We had a blast yesterday. I'm just kind of prepping some paper right here that I'm possibly going to use so it can be drying. Possibly drying. Maybe drying. Hello, Nanette. Um, so we're, while we're saying hello to everybody and I don't have a plate and I forgot my plate. They're around here somewhere. Who knows where? Hey, Norma. Hey, Kathy. It's good to see all of you too. Um, because I have missed y'all telling you sitting in the house and trying to find stuff, you know, which I've been doing business stuff on the, on the back end. Hey, Miss Rose. Hello, Jeannie. And, um, so I'm always doing that, but uh, I've been sick of just sitting there looking at the snow outside. Thank you, Beverly. You need to paint your Mrs. Snowman. Wendy, look in the group and look at all those fabulous ones everybody did. We made her, um, she is, she is ready to go out on the town. 36 in Idaho. So y'all just bear with me for a minute. I'm just prepping some of this paper because it's got to dry. This one I did earlier and so I know it's dry. But, um, in case I might need some paper. Hey, Sandy. I'm just going to put my elbow in that. I'm just dry brushing some white over this pink. I just painted splotches of pink on this paper. Let the fun begin. Yes, we're going to craft and we're going to make something. I'm just, right now I'm just making me some decorative paper. <laughs> um, I know I was going through y'all withdrawals as well because... Um, I gotta have my crafty friends and it's not, it's not fun, as fun crafting by myself. After I've gotten used to talking to all of you every time I craft, I, <laughs> I get kind of spoiled. Hey, Corby. Lizzie's nose is a lot bigger than his. Yes, it is. I almost shrunk it down, but I didn't. Okay, so I just painted two different colors of pink on this paper. No big deal. <laughs> and we're going to lay it up here and let it dry. So y'all have to bear with me with my sniffles. and Ugh. Okay. As long as I don't touch it to the glue gun and catch the place on fire. Hey, Shirley. Do I have a wait list for your group? No, Dee Dee, I don't have a wait list. Um, but it's just going to open and there's, there's going to be a lot of spots available. So where is Mississippi? It never snowed. Oh, this is North Mississippi, Elizabeth. I'm in the very tip of Mississippi, right below Memphis. So we had six inches of snow, and then we had ice on top of that, and it's just now starting to melt because it's it got above um, <coughs> it got above freezing today for the first time in like a week because it snowed a week ago today, and that's where it started. <laughs> so anyway, um, so we're gonna craft with these. These are. The little seed starter pots. I love crafting with these. I've crafted with them for years because they are in the little nursery section at Walmart. Um, Dollar Tree will start putting them out. Actually, I think these are Dollar Tree. I can't remember. Um, but they come in all different sizes. These are tiny. So they are little. And then these are... So they come in even bigger ones too. And they're very inexpensive. Like this whole pack of them was probably... A couple of bucks. This they're twelve in there, so you can do all kinds of fun things with these pots. Y'all see me probably use them before. Um, hey, Karen. So anyway, so we're gonna do something with these, and I've already kind of tried one idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Um, so y'all don't panic. <laughs> it's okay because I've already tested it out first. <sighs> y'all, I've, I've got stuff on top of stuff over here. My hair is doing weird stuff. Um, hey, Kathy. You don't want any snow. I, I don't want it either. I want everybody to come that has snow to come get it out of my yard. <laughs> Sleet and freezing rain tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Me too, Marcidia. First time we've been above freezing for that long too, I believe. 
Um, anyway, if y'all saw the picture I posted, the video I posted a few days ago of the guys ice skating on a pond in my neighborhood, which is, I mean, I could walk there. It's just right here, literally almost across the street from my house is that, that little pond. And these guys were full on ice skating on it. And that does not happen in Mississippi. Okay. Doesn't, I've never seen it before in my whole life. And they were skating on it. I'm like, what is this? What kind of, uh world are we living in? Because it don't snow like that in Mississippi or get that cold. Okay, so this is the pot. So what I'm going to do, don't panic. <laughs> We're going to just kind of fold it like this, all right? Just for a, a second. And yes, it's going to kind of crease that, but we're going to cut that off. Five inches of snow before it decided to warm up. <laughs> uh, yeah, not sub-zero temperatures, no. Okay, so we're going to start way down low. I'm going to start cutting way down low, and I'm going to cut an arch, but we're not going to go as low on this side. So I'm going to start way down here, like this, and we're going to, I was going to make one fell swoop, but that didn't work. And we're going to cut, <coughs> excuse me, and of course when I talk it makes it worse, but I was determined I was coming live tonight. Okay. Now, it's not perfect. I want y'all to look at it. It's not this beautiful, you know, teacher classroom cutting. Yeah, it's not that. <laughs> okay, so. <coughs> so, when you open it up, it looks like this. So, it's really cool. So, we are going to make like little, like a little, um, Valentine's like little basket pot thing. <sighs> hey, I'm good, Valerie. I'm feeling fine. I couldn't hardly talk the other day, Thursday, when I wasn't coming live. I was like, there's no way. I sounded like a, I'd been smoking Marlboros for a pack a day for 25 years. Um, so, so now if you cut it, it may not always be See how like one side may be higher than the other and you may have to come in here and kind of trim it up to make it look uh, even when you look at the back, which you're probably not even going to see the back. Uh, if you put stuff in it, you're not going to see the back, but that looks really cool so we can kind of see what's in it. <coughs> and of course, cutting that makes all these little fibers fly around in the air and make me cough. So let me sip my water. Yes, I think it's really cute. I think I can't claim this idea as my own. I saw it was on TikTok and it was it was like a Chinese person or a Japanese person. You know, they can do everything with paper and stuff and I'm just amazed. And she did that to this pot and cut it and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing ever." Okay. So, I think How's the weather? It's getting warmer. It's going to be like 60-something degrees Thursday, and we were freezing yesterday. Um, so, anyway, so I cut it like this. Now we're going to make it all pretty, or try to. I don't know why I put that paintbrush in the water when I need it. Y'all, my chip brushes look, they, they need prayers. <laughs> I got ordered me some new ones off Amazon, so they should be coming, because they are sad. <laughs> In my COVID mask. Basking looking things. <laughs> Y'all know me. I just had to make up words for different things I can't I can't say. Okay, so there it is. So I'm just gonna this is very textured, which makes it a really cool one. I just got a big glob of paint on it. So we're just gonna have to get look, I already got a big glob of paint. So we're gonna go heavy. But it makes it real um interesting looking when you paint it because you can see all of that pretty texture <coughs> gosh i feel like I can, I can taste that pot i <laughs> feel like i got some in my throat i'll be all right a little fiber won't hurt me okay vicky i need to look there i don't hardly ever go because it's not like in my, it's not by Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Harbor Freight's not, and I have to go somewhere out of my way to go to Harbor Freight. 
And, uh, you know, <laughs> so I don't go there. So I ordered some off Amazon that I thought were pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how many it was or how many I got. I can't remember. But I just ordered them, so... Because, you know, we hadn't gotten any mail in six days. We hadn't gotten anything. Um, hey, Shawnee. So, I'm just kind of dry brushing it. Because now it doesn't look like a peak pot. <laughs> but these are super fun to craft with. If you have kids or grandkids, these are inexpensive for them to paint. And you don't have to worry about them dropping them and breaking them and all that stuff. They're super cute. Mountains have storms. <coughs> 81, wow. I want it to be 81 here. I, I'm telling you, I'm not going to complain about the heat. Can't hold on to it. Okay, so here's my little pot. And they dry really fast. Only because, you know, it soaks it up really quickly. Now, if you want to paint the inside, you can. Depending on what you're going to put in it. Um... I'm going to leave that here a minute because I might not be done with it. Yeah, I'm, I'll cut another one, Joyce. It's very simple. So, I've got this pink. This is bubblegum pink. It's like a, just a pastel. I think I'm going to attempt to br like dry, brush, dry brush some on here just to give it a little bit of... I can't even see that. It's just a little bit of pink. But these are make like little cute pots if you want to put like little Hershey's Kisses or any kind of little candy in there for Valentine's. These will be really cute. Because of the way it's cut, it looks really cute. But after I'm done, you're probably not going to be able to tell that the back, you know, it looks like a heart. But it'll be okay. Okay, but now maybe you can tell that it's a little bit pink. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. These little edges keep kind of coming up. So, y'all probably even have some of these because I, I know I've used them before and I, a lot of crafters use them, especially in the springtime because that's when they the stores start putting them out. So, I like to craft with them because that's when you can get them, but I also keep them in my craft stash because they're just fun to, to do stuff with. <coughs> okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to probably cough a lot. Thursday was a whole lot worse. It was terrible. All right, I'm gonna wipe up my pink. Glass top table is the best. She got a scrub down yesterday. I cleaned her off completely. A chip brush, it's just what it's called. Um, they're, I don't know what actually painters use them for, but they're just real bristly and real, um, Here's a brand new one. Well, it's not brand new, but it's not been used. But um, it's just real um, bristly, I guess. And they, hey, Rhonda, they come in the the paint section of Walmart where the actual house paint is. And there's boxes. And this is a one inch. That's my favorite size. And they come in big ones, too. Uh, like, here's one in the package. So, that's what it'll look like. That's a two inch. And they're just very inexpensive paint brushes. And I like to do the distressing kind of look with them. Well, I could have sent you some snow. I'm over it. I am very over it. Okay, so here's our pot. Now, I'm just going to kind of, like I said, I've got so much spread out on this table. It's crazy. But like I said, you could put um, uh, Hershey Kisses in here. Where is my... <laughs> I'm hunting something. And I can't find it. Okay, what gauge is this? 22 gauge. Let me get my 20 gauge. Okay, so y'all know I love this wire from Hobby Lobby. I use it for all kinds of things. It is, we used it to make those fairies with. Um, it is the floral stem wire, but it's white. It's like got fabric over it. It's not green. Um, hey, Candy, I've missed y'all too. I am feeling lots better. I just... Uh, and talk and was coughing and all that stuff. I did not build a snowman. <coughs> it's too cold for me. Okay, so I'm going to go on the sides because we're going to make like a little handle. 
And I'm gonna take my little pokey tool that I call it, my little pokey thing. That, I use that for everything. I have them everywhere. My husband has them in his shop. All right. Ooh, okay, that is not wanting to happen, Captain. There we go. It's wanting to push that, push that back. What is going on? Let me just make it a little bigger. Yay, there it goes, okay. So I'm gonna put it in there and I just folded it down a little bit. Well, I guess up a little bit because it's gonna go like this. Oh yeah, I, ha I made that bird cage with that. I, did, I sure did, I, can't, I forgot about that. Unfortunately, live at the bottom of a hill. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, so I folded my wire up but I'm just gonna put me a little dab of hot glue right there to kind of hold it there. Hey, Patricia! Vicky, he has a 3D printer. He has a fiber laser. Um, and all of his, he's got welding tools. He has anything to make anything with. Spiral the wire. Okay, D, just wait. <laughs> it's a coming. Okay, I'm trying to let that dry. All right. D read my mind because I'm going to, this is, um, this used to be a spool of this um, Baker's twine until my Yorkie got a hold of the whole spool and unthreaded it. And I had to wrap it on a piece of folded up cardboard. <coughs> that was fun. Okay. So I guess maybe I can put my, maybe I can let that hot glue be the double thing and hold that down because I'm going to wrap my wire. She did. My shirt says not perfect, just forgiven. Um, John 1-9. It is from Beware, but it's I've had it a couple years. <coughs> hey, Patricia. Hello, Lori. You're okay. All right, so I'm not going to wrap this whole thing. Let me see. I'm going to cut it off, though, first, so I won't be. I'll see how long I want to make it. And y'all know I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it way before. Yep, yeah, I don't have my stars, so. Hey, Shaney. All right, so I'm going to cut it off way longer than, I, you know, than I'm going to need, but. Anyway, so I'm going to poke a... No, I'm not going to poke the hole yet. All right. So, I'm not going to wrap the whole thing. I'm just going to maybe just kind of like she said, I'm just going to spiral it. And you could do anything. You could do yarn. And the only reason I didn't do yarn is because my yarn is put up in a bin up high. And I couldn't reach it at the moment. So, I just grabbed this pretty little cute little baker's twine. And y'all probably all have some from the Dollar Tree because that's probably exactly where it came from. You can find it in the big spools every once in a while at Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of wrapping it, y'all see? Or a May Day basket, yeah. Or you could do these little Easter baskets this way. I almost poked you in the eye. <laughs> you were looking too close. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stop it with some green thread in there. Like I said, my little Yorkie decided one day she got a hold of it. It was in here on the floor or something, and she got a hold of it. And next thing I know, she's running around with this big ball of pink and white twine in her mouth, and I had to cut some of it off and... Then I had to unroll the whole entire thing and put it on this piece of cardboard because she had a heyday with it. So yeah, I was like, and so this is what she does. Now I have two dogs. Um, my male dog will come in here and he'll stay in here with me sometimes and he'll lay on his little dog bed he's got. My Yorkie, no, she wants to come around and run around and she, she'll come in and she'll make her rounds. She'll come up down one side 
and come behind the table and sniff everything. And then she goes right up that side and goes right out the door again. She just wants to, to be nosy. I'm like, nothing's changed, darling. You know, everything's still like it was last time. Okay. So I'm just trying to see where I need to put my hole. So yeah, she's just nosy. Seeing what she can get into is what she does. I'm like, here comes nosy. <coughs> you never seen pink and white? I know Dollar Tree, I know they have it. And I also have I got a pack off Amazon that was a whole bunch of colors. Cause you know, if I got one color, I gotta have a whole bunch of other colors. Okay. All right, so I just, see there's that side and then I just folded it up on that side. So now we have our cute little handle. It looks a little wonky on that side. <laughs> but you could use any kind of wire you have. I, I just grabbed that because that's really long on wire I have. Hey, Susanna. Okay, so there's my little pot so far. And now there's a whole lot of stuff we can do to this. And I have got everything imaginable on this table to do stuff with. So maybe she meant to twist the wire. I don't know. Or make it, yeah, like a corkscrew maybe. You could do that too. That would be really cute. I wish they was thinking spiral it with like, yarn or that's my mindset hey Rhonda okay so I'm gonna cut off y'all know I gotta cut this stuff and it sounds horrible when we cut it so then we'll kind of go sounds bad I'm gonna cut it smaller. Okay. And this stuff gets everywhere. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Now it's all over me. Okay. A large tendril. Yes. I now I know that's what she meant. Um, still won't fit. And make the wire like a like somebody said a cork. Screw. Yes, that would be really, really cute. Um, goosebumps. I know everybody hates when I cut this stuff. It sounds so <laughs> like your nails on a chalkboard. Okay. And I'm really not even going to have to glue it down because I just wedged it down in there. Because I want to put some greenery in here. I think it's going to be super cute because I am ready for some spring. I don't know about y'all. I'm sick of the winter weather. All right. So... And we're going to use my painted paper in a little bit. Probably on the next one. Thank you, Cindy. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Homecoming moms. Oh, that's cool. Like a ring thing. Okay. <coughs> Trisha, hello. You fell asleep. Wake up. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, I've got florals like... All over my table and I'm trying to decide what I want to use you know I got this kind of stuff from the Dollar Tree I don't know what these are but um I've got oh let's use I've got I dug out of my spring florals today for the first time I was so excited hey Enid how's Dorothy she's doing good she's sore but she's doing really good I, I text her today and, and so checked on her it's gonna be too tall maybe not and we can cut it down. I'm looking at my options. <clears throat> Keep telling myself halfway over. It's halfway over. I know. I'm woo. Y'all see stuff flying all around. Um, where is this string? Half of this I dug out of my bin of all these pieces and parts of florals that I have. Hmm. I'm just, I'm weighing my odds, y'all. Hang on. I got so much out here, it's not even funny. Dorothy, she had gallbladder surgery. She's okay. She just had to have gallbladder surgery. Uh, can't decide. Okay, let's just make a decision. All right, I'm gonna go with this. 
but she's okay. I know, Debbie. I I just got this drip and it won't go away. Let's see if this is TikTok. This is from Michaels. I got it probably last year, I think. But it's really pretty. Nicole from Afraid Not. Nicole is my friend. Nicole is my friend. She's so stinking talented. Okay. I might get this in here and decide I don't like it, but we're going to see. We're going to see. I'll just cut it with this. Hey, Kimberly. The gr this greenery is from Michael's. Oh, my gosh. Prayers for Dorothy. Yeah, she's doing really good, though. But I told her um, that she's going to rest up and be brand new. All right, so I'm going to put another. I cut it shorter, so I'm going to stick it in here. This is already looking so springy. Not really Valentine-y, but springy. But we're going to make it Valentine, maybe. And I got to break out the moss. Y'all know how I don't like the moss. Okay. But look how cute this looks already. This is, y'all are needing the spring as much as me, right? No, the one I first had, the one with the, this one, it was the, it wasn't that one, it was this one. With that thing on it, that's Dollar Tree. Maybe I need to put some color in there. I got so much stuff down in here, y'all just don't even know. Oh. I see. Look at these daisies. Aren't they cute? Uh-oh. I'm pulling them off. Okay. These are from Joann's. They have these sweet little, um, sweet little pink flowers in there. Let's see if I can get them to, to stick down in here in the front, maybe. Just, just a little pop of pink. Just a little pop of pink. <laughs> spring, I can't wait either. Dang. Like, after Christmas and New Year's, it should just be spring. <coughs> it had just green leaves like sage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, let me spread these out a little bit. So, when y'all go to Walmart next time get you some little pots they're back like i said they're in the garden center dollar tree will be putting them out too and they have the little ones all right so i just put that little pop of pink down in there now i got to i got to break out the moss when you buy this moss you just go ahead and get you a bag put it in the bag to contain the chaos because can't handle it. All right, but we're not done. We're gonna do another pot and probably another pot and another pot. <laughs> yeah, hey, Miss Gayla, how are you feeling? Okay. Whew. I don't know how I feel about the moss, but you gotta have the moss sometimes. Got to have it. I love the daisies too. I think they're from Michaels as well. And I got them for some project and I didn't end up using them as you can see. Or something on my tear tray or something at some point. I remember that. Okay. So see now we got the moss. We got the moss. But look, I love how the the front is cut out. I think it's so cute. Yeah, Charlotte, you could use these for little center center pieces. Or like I said, you could put uh candy. Ooh, candy in them and not put flowers in them you could do all kinds of stuff with these but I like I said I've just got so much stuff out on my table and I'm just sitting here um playing and talking to y'all <laughs> oh okay so there that is Whoop. so I want to do something else though um it's bad when I have to rearrange stuff on my table to get to something else uh Okay, so y'all know Dollar Tree has these little stickers and all of this cute fun stuff. So you see that little Cupid right there? 
that's who I'm going after. Sometimes they open at the bottom and you can seal them back up, but this one does not. So we'll get the one that, oh, that's weird. Anyway, and yes, I could cut these on my laser, but you know. Um, and we're glad you won't play on. <laughs> You have so many ideas. I know. There's so many different ways that this could go. Um, and you could put rocks in the bottom if you want to to kind of make it a little bit start, sturdier because you see it's really, really, really lightweight. Little eggs. Yes, you could do lots of stuff for Easter. So it's already just that wood color. So I believe I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint it bubble gum. Maybe. Oh, here, look here. Here's a sponge. Y'all have them laying all over my area all the time. All right. So I'm just going to do like I paint my wood cutouts and we're just going to dab this little thing. Look how sweet it is. See, y'all can't tell that it's pink, but it is pink. Um, yeah, cute for Mother's Day. It'd be so, it's cute for so many ideas. And that's what I'm saying. I like to break out this idea in another fashion every time, every season, be, or when they start putting them out every spring, because I, like I said, I keep these in my stash, and because you never know when you might need them or you want to do something with one of them, and okay, y'all, telling you, I got stuff everywhere, so y'all know what this is. Now, we could put it on a wire, but I think I'm gonna, um, Put it on, I'm going to see how big I need to make this. Okay. Um, put it on my shish kebab stick, which y'all probably have those too. And we're going to just hot glue that little bad boy on there. And you know, they have these for all the seasons at Dollar Tree as well. Um, I have hearts and all the ones they have. I love those little wood things. They have pumpkins. They have um, the Christmas ones. They put them out every season, I believe, for every holiday. But see, look. Look how cute that is. Doop, doop, doop. So, I'm just going to... We're going to poke it down in there. Look how stinking cute this is. Oh, my gosh. I just can't. I mean, this is like a little cardboard pot. And it's so stinking cute. We started out like that. Now we have this. Um, but you could carry on and you could add, um, we could add a little tag. And that's kind of why I was painting that paper. Because I didn't know if I wanted to add a tag to it. So, let's see where I need to put a little tag that says, okay, let's do this. So I painted, I just took, this is just like craft paper, okay? Regular paper. Um, you're in love with how it looks, isn't it cute? I'm just so ready for spring, I can't, I just can't help it. Um, so today when I was preparing for this, I just kept getting stuff out, kept getting stuff out, kept getting stuff out all over my table, and it just kind of multiplied. Because my ideas just kept going and going. You love, love, love this. I do too, because I just think we're all ready for the winter time to be gone. After this week, I am for sure. Okay, so I'm tearing this paper just because I want it to look um, like tattered. So I'm just tearing it. It is pink. Um, <clears throat> and I paint, don't you roll off my table. I painted it with bubble gum as well. And so it's gonna match the little Cupid. A little bunny, y'all look at me, look at my bunnies. I got these at Michael's the other day because I can't help it. I can't. Look, look. I'm just saying Easter because I've done them for Easter before. Look at how adorable he is. <laughs> or when I was a, a little girl, I loved these little chicks. I loved them. I thought that was the grandest thing ever was those little chicks. Y'all, look at Sassy. She's up in there like she belongs. Look. <laughs> Isn't she cute? She got on a little hat and everything. Look, she is ready. She is ready with Miss Snowman. They're going out. They're going out on the town together. You see them? <laughs> ah, 
they are going, they're going to high step out town and go looking for some men, I guess. <clears throat> Looks like Queen Elizabeth over there. I love those chicks too. And I, and when I see them in the store, I just can't help it. I want all of them. Okay. I'm just a little girl, y'all. You didn't know that. I'm still a little girl at heart. I can't help it. Hey, Barb. Okay. So here is my little piece of paper that I just painted. Don't have the scrapbook paper you want? Make your own. Um, so then, gotta find it. I've got those little stamps I used the other day. And then we have, like, Dollar Tree has these. And I don't really see anything on there that I, that's small enough to use. But Dollar Tree has those. And then I have these. And then I have these that I used the on those hearts that we did last last week I'm trying to see do i oh i like the, let's do the xo one where do you get all those little chicks and money go to michael's they have tons of them tons and tons of them and every year they're different and i, I just they do that just for me because i can't help it <laughs> and they know i can't help it i'm just gonna where's my I just, there's so much, stuff. here it is. There's so much stuff on this table. You need a stamp with fairies. I don't know, have I seen any with fairies? You might, have, you might look on Amazon. They might would have it. All right. I don't know if this pad's going to get it or not. I might have to get my other one. This one. Hello, Karen. Good evening. There we go. That little one wasn't cutting it. Okay, so now I'm gonna, <laughs> I was gonna stamp it. It didn't stick to my block, so we're just gonna do this. Okay, <sighs> worked. All right, right there. Here, let me just put you back right here. Set you over here before I get it gets lost. Okay, so here it is. I used that on those little hearts the other day that we did the last time I was live, which was felt like a was a whole week ago or something. Um, so I'm gonna tear this smaller. Thank y'all for coming on and hanging out with me, because <coughs> I did do some crafting this week and it just wasn't as fun. Without my friends. Okay. So, I made my own paper because I couldn't find any scrapbook paper that I had that I liked. So, there it is. What is that? Now, there it is. Do, do, do. Um, so, we can hang this. Or we could, we could actually just glue it at the bottom. We could hang it. We could glue it down at the bottom, down there on the side, I'm trying to figure out where to put it. <laughs> Me too, Gwen. I, I miss y'all because uh, it's been a, it was a long week. I'm here to tell you. I think I've been out of the house once, like went somewhere and that was to Walmart. Oh, look, I put it at the bottom. It, look, it says XOXO. It's just kind of, y'all can see it. But love, you love the dotting I did? I know. I love the dotting. Dotting class is coming next month. All that's being worked on in the background. And I'm going to be uh, offering the class for you to purchase the class this week, probably. And then it'll start in February and it'll be four classes in that month. Sorry, I had to get rid of that. Got rid of that, I hope. Maybe I, maybe I did. If not, Dana might catch him. Okay, isn't that cute? But you could hang a tag here, hang whatever. You could do that. Okay, so 
don't know if I'm brave enough to do one in that. It's so small. All right, let me put my, let me put this back in here because if I don't, it's going to fall off the table and I'll clean that in a little bit. <laughs> Vicki, you've been doing it. Hey, you don't know what you're going to do with all of it. Well, it's practice. It's practice. Okay. So yeah, that's what, let me set it over here before it gets all messed up. But you can just keep going and add all kinds of stuff to this. Okay, now I'm going to cut another one. <coughs> For those of y'all that didn't see it the first time. Okay, so one of these. And the little ones work the same because I've already cut. I've already cut the little one. You want to do a little one? It is addicting. It is very much addicting. Okay, let's, well, what am I going to put in this little one? thinking it's gonna have to be something really really small okay so that and you just you don't want to just do it you know you want to kind of ease into it because you don't want it to crease all the way down but it's gonna rip on the corners right there but you're gonna cut that off so you're gonna start way down at the bottom well not at the bottom but way down here I'm always scared and you're just going to kind of round off the top, but you're not going to go all that far down at the, on the back. See that cutting job is not real pretty, but you want it low in the front, high in the back. You saw the small ones at Dollar Tree yesterday? Yes. That's why I wanted to do this because this is going to give you so many ideas to do with these and they're very, very inexpensive to work with. So if you mess one up, I mean, you know, I don't know if these came from Dollar Tree or not. I don't know. But there were 12 in this. And they probably were a dollar. Or Dollar General or somewhere. They have them everywhere. Um, okay, so there's that. Ooh, did she say button flowers? Oh, okay. <laughs> she said button flowers. Okay, I broke down, y'all. Y'all broke me down. And I ordered from Timu. <laughs> there is no end to Timu. I will say this. Look at these buttons. Whoops. They're flowers. And they are wood. Little wood buttons. And they're flowers. Oh, you bought some pots today? Yeah, you can, um, you can work any season. You can do them for... Uh, Halloween. You can even do it for Halloween and put little candies and stuff in them. So cute. Okay. So now what color are we going to paint this one? You knew you were going to regret not picking them up. I'm sure you'll be back. And it's something they're not just going to sell out of probably because um, you still have some pots from last year. Yeah. So see, I keep them too. Um, you love Timu? Well, I found out two things. <laughs> they email you a lot. And they also, um, they also, uh, there's no end to the site. You could scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll for hours and hours and hours and still not get to the end of a category. I, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't know where they have all this stuff stored up. I, I don't know, but it's a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's open this brush. This is a little halfer. Oh, no, it's a one inch. It looks really small. St. Patrick's Day. Hey, Beth. Okay, this is Carousel Pink. I just went with a brighter pink. Y'all, I'll just go through my paints because I see the, the butt end of my paints and I pick a pink that I like or a color I like. So, we're going to make this one... A little cutesy and do it a little bit brighter pink peat pots yet but you've bought seeds already never early that's right Marcedia we can always hope and try to usher it on in a lot faster this week I have they do get you hooked I'm telling you I don't look at the emails cuz I know better but I will just say that if you look up 
buttons. You're never gonna get to the end of the button section. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> oh, your dotting tools came, yay! Yes, they have those on Timu too. The nail dotting or whatever. Yep, they do. Okay. So I'm just, this one's gonna be a little brighter pink. I just love the way that this does in the front. I think it's just so cool. Jennifer, um, I have shown it before. They are racks that I cut with my laser and put together. And I just recently cut one more because I have two over here and they hold 120 bottles of paint each. And then I, I just made another one for over here for all my metallic paints. So I have two full over here that I probably need another. And then I have metallic over here. Okay. <laughs> and um, so Dorothy was here and she had never seen me put it together. So I cut it and we were trying to put it together and all the things. And I was like, she was just like, oh my gosh, this is just a headache. And I'm like, I know. That's why I don't like cutting them. I love this. I love it. But I don't like cutting the actual, you know, actually cutting it, putting it together. And that's the reason I don't sell it is because it's a lot of pieces and it's a lot of putting together. <coughs> and it's hard. It was hard for me. And I deal with laser stuff all the time. And I asked Dorothy, I said, do you want one? Because if you do, we'll cut it right now and we'll put it together. And she was like, no, I'm good. I don't, I don't need one. I'm like, okay, because this is the last one that I'm going to cut and put together. And it's sitting right over here. She was like, hallelujah, because this is, <laughs> this is awful. I'm like, I know, I told you. it. And people ask me, um, good night, Sue. Uh, people ask me, you know, do you sell those? And I'm like, no. Because it's hard enough for me to put it together. I can only imagine trying to um, send it to somebody and have them put it together. Because it's a lot of pieces and a lot of fitting it together. And then if it don't fit together, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a problem. Alright, I think that's going to be enough. I don't want to get it too tall because then you'll be able to see it in there but it's not gonna i cut it so small it's not gonna wedge in my little pot because it's a little bitty baby one okay so there's my floral you could use any kind of styrofoam or whatever you have use what you have i just pulled out what i had and then let's see we're gonna put y'all want to put these in there and I have oh, Timu. <laughs> it's y'all's fault that I went on Timu. Look, these are hearts. Look, 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 look. Aren't they cute? Okay. So I'm going to put a little greenery in there. Good night, B. Good night. Um, start off with, but gosh, it's going to have to be teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Look, here's a piece of a Christmas tree. Oh, y'all, teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Let's do this. Oh, you love that sign right there? Yeah, I laser cut that and painted it for myself. Uh, it's gonna have to be teeny tiny, teeny tiny. It's got little pink flowers on it. Love some cute buttons. 80% of your... Shani is all about the Timu too. That's my friend Shani. She makes, um, she is in like a crew at Mardi Gras and they have to bead their own costumes. And y'all, can I just tell you, it is impressive. She needs to send me a picture of it and I need to sh post it to show y'all the costume that she made. I'm like, I, I can't. It's, it is amazing. Hey, Debbie. Okay. So, let's see. This is like a little bitty. It's going to have to be a little bitty. 
you need the flowers need the flowers that I make yes like this one would be too little but yeah the, the fabric flowers would be really really cute um, to put in these so let's put I'm just sticking them in the foam they would be really cute and I actually have some over there in a drawer that's made but they don't they aren't gone on anything yet okay but look how cute this is <laughs> What's that say? I get lost. Money. I get a lot from Timu. Yeah, it's... I, ha, I don't think I've gotten anything that I don't like. I mean, most of it was crafting stuff. So, I don't know. I can't mess up a lot of that stuff. But, I mean, a lot of people get a lot of stuff off of there. My husband sat down and he went down the rabbit hole one night. And he ordered a whole bunch of stuff. And he was like, this is just too addicting. I can't look at it anymore. I'm like, I know. You put $1, $2, $3 here and there. And the next thing you know, you've got a cart with $100 worth of stuff in it. How did that happen? But then having to wait for it is, is what I don't like. Waiting two weeks for that stuff. It's like, oh my gosh, that's too long. Okay. Look at my little flowers. Aren't they cute? Oh gosh, Tammy plays the games to win things. Oh, the button flowers that I did with the stacking them. I just happen to have these out. Y'all. Okay. I don't know if I got rid of it or not. It's not letting me get rid of it. I'm trying. Okay. So, what if... Y'all just ignore it and let it go. He'll go away. What if I put... Oh, no. Hold on. You get lots of clothes. See, I haven't gotten any clothes on there. Look at this one. It's got like little pink flowers. And if y'all hang on, I'll pick somebody and we will, I'll share my buttons with y'all because I got a lot. Because I wanted to share with my friends. Okay. So what if I did that? See, see? <laughs> I got me a, I got me a flower now. But yeah, I know she's talking about the button flowers I did where you stack them up. Yeah, it's so fun. Well, she's in actually in New Orleans, and my wire just went down on the floor. Um, and she's has a float and all that stuff. And uh, what is it called? Prima Donnas. That's the name of her of her crew is the Prima Donnas, and they throw. Uh, she she takes bras. They buy um, real cheap bras off Amazon. I think it is in bulk. And they, uh, they, um, they put beads on them, Mardi Gras beads, you know, decorate the whole bra and they throw them from the float. So she beads stuff for weeks and weeks before Mardi Gras. A lot, so much goes into all that. It's impressive. Okay. So here's my other one. Look at that. Look how cute. I got a little instant flower there. All right, so we're gonna poke that in there. This isn't even Valentine's, but you know, I can do the heart ones. Look how cute. Look at them. <laughs> Is that not so precious? So precious, okay. All right, so I got like bunches of buttons. Hang on, I gotta. Look, I bought buttons and I'll just kind of split them up. And I got like three or four of each one because I was like, Ooh, I'm going to share some. Here's a pen. Joe and Frisbee. So I will send y'all some. All right, you message me your address. Cindy Clark, need to make the flowers you make. Need, the, need your flowers you make. Cindy Clark, message me and I will send you some buttons. It always stops on so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is watching. 
Beth Jones Jenkins. Right, we'll keep on going. Mary Langston, send me your address and I will share my buttons with you. Go all the way back. Okay, there we go. They would be cute on baby clothes. Gosh, but look how adorable they are. Look. Do, 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 do. Aren't they cute? Okay, so there's our little bitty baby pot. Now, what do I do now? <laughs> Let's see. I might I might not even um, cut this one. Hey, Teresa. I may not cut this one. What if I just leave it like it is? I think I'm gonna do, where's that brush? Where did I get that? Oh, I already used it and put it in the water. <laughs> you love buttons. I love the buttons too. Okay, all right. So, I'm gonna get some white, just a little bit of white. Just tapping a lot of it off. Tap too much off. I don't want to do too much. See what we can do with this one. Yay! They're so cute. I hope y'all do this because I know y'all are going to just knock it out of the park and just go crazy with this idea. Instant flowers. I know. So cute. But I t intentionally bought more because I knew I was going to share say that out loud, that I was going to give some to my friends. I have jars of buttons too. I love buttons. So of course I had to, they have more than just those too. They have all kinds. I was like, oh, I can sit there and dollar and two dollar myself to death. All right. So always go light first and you can always darken it up. And another thing about these pots is that, like, this brand and then another brand, the texture is going to look different. So, it's really cool. You can, uh, they'll look different. Like, the ones you buy may not look like the ones I have. So, see, it gives it a cool look to it. Y'all can tell my mind is on spring so bad. <laughs> I'm sick of the snow. All right, I'm going to set that brush right there because I may not even, I may use it again. Yeah, I try to. Um, I wish I could do it all the time, but oh, my table. Glass top table is the best idea I've ever, ever had. Okay, so cute. Okay, now let's see. Now let's put something. All right, that's got to go over here. I got entirely too much on this table. Now what am I going to put in here? <coughs> or put on it? Yeah, it's usually 10 to 14 days. <coughs> and I'm expecting something now to come. And I, it, it hadn't come because we've had snow. And I'm like, this is not fun. Because I can't get my Timu stuff. So thank you all for getting me started. <laughs> Okay, what am I gonna put in here? Put in here, what am I gonna put in here? Hey, Anita, I'm trying to thaw out. Look, I don't know, y'all, what are these things supposed to be? I'm trying to thaw out. We are thawing out slowly, but yes, we are. I like this, this is from Walmart and I pulled it out of my bin, it says rosemary pick. And I've had it a while. I don't know. I'm thinking. <laughs> you did your burr kit? Yay! Scalloped edge. Oh. Where are... That's not the 
paper. This is my thrifted pair. But, uh, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it would be cute, though. I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. Yes, I cannot wait to craft with her. I'm over the moon ready to craft with that little girl. And I tell her all the time, I'm going to let you come to my house. And we're going to... Um, we're going to make stuff, and we're going to finger paint, and we're going to do all the fun stuff and make a mess, and then you can just go home, and I'll clean the mess up. <laughs> I cannot wait to craft with that little girl. She has no idea what's in store for her. She just don't know it yet. And it's going to be so much fun. I know, darling, that's the way ours is. We haven't had mail and this last week and I got Timu stuff that's pending delivery I'm like oh, you're holding it for ransom down there at the post office but I mean the the Memphis trucks that bring the mail to us our post office it's making my pot bulge out I don't like it um the trucks didn't even run because Memphis was worse than we were so the trucks didn't even bring mail to them um, oh, you craft with four of them. That's so sweet. I cannot wait. Okay, there's my phone. But what am I going to put on the front? Front, front, front. I have this really cool idea, but I don't think it's going to work. But I have like this vellum stuff I got it. Hobby Lobby. Um, but you know, when something is tapered, it doesn't always. You know, you can't get it to wrap perfectly because it's tapered. Lots of fun. If y'all make tumblers and stuff, y'all probably know that, that it's a pain in the behind. Not that I make tumblers, but when you wrap it and it's tapered, it doesn't want to do right. All right, let's it's made that idea. What else do I have over here? I don't know. Let's just see what I can come up with. I'm freezing a lot. That's crazy. I don't know. Who knows? Could be a Facebook deal. I got this piece of lace. What am I going to do with this? What if I did? What if we did that? I wonder if I could get that to go on there. That would be so pretty. Three-year-old granddaughter. I know. I just, y'all, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm sure her parents are like, oh, great. Teach her to craft, so she'll have to come over here and do all the things. Um, wrap from the corner. Like, I don't know. Because, you know, it's tapered, so I'll have to end up, like, making slits in it for it to stay on there. And this is probably going to be more pain. Then it's worth. This was actually in one of, in the mystery bags too. Some uh, some some mystery bags. You know, it's all just random. It's pretty nice. I know it is. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Can we do? What can we put on here? Back with these stamps. Let's see. Because this doesn't have to be Valentine's, but I don't know. Hmm. Let's do this. Put my paper to the side. See, these open from the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. Gosh, this is the ones where they won't come off of the... <sighs> okay, this one says kiss, wrap with yarn or ribbon. So this one says kiss, and y'all may have this because um, it's Dollar Tree. So let's do this. Okay. So, see it? And then I'm just going to randomly see.
see if I can stamp it. Place it back. So there's my kiss. And then we'll put kiss over here. We'll just go round and round. Cute. Mm. Put one over here. Kind of have to rock it back and forth and up and down and all around because we're pressing on something that's round. didn't do that one. Okay. So we can just make our own little our own little um, design on our uh, pot. Hey Paula, we're just playing and let's see. Let's do this is the arrow, the hearts and the arrows. Y'all, like I said, y'all probably have these stamps if you collect Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> okay. Cute. Thank you. I'm just trying to do something a little different than normal. Y'all know me, I like to do different stuff. Kind of see, I've never stamped on one of these before. It's always been on a piece of paper and then I put the paper on the pot. So I decided this time we're just gonna stamp it right on there and see what happens. So there's my little arrow. You have these stamps? Yeah, they are in abundance at the Dollar Tree for sure. They do really good. You just have to rock it. Hey, Paula, we're making these little these little seed pots that you can get this time of the year. We made this one. Isn't it cute? That's my favorite. And then I, whoa, hello. Look, we done knocked over our Lizzie back here and her little chicky friend. There we go. And then we made this baby one. Out of the little bitty pots, I have little ones, so we made that with little button flowers. Aren't they cute? I'm just over. I got so much stuff on my table. I'm just playing. Oh, Leah, you're okay. All right, let's do one more of these little arrows. But y'all are welcome to watch the replay. It'll always be there. I don't think I have room for another one, and I don't. So I'm gonna peel this off and stick it right there. And these, look what it says. It says clear stamps, tampoons. <laughs> what? what language is that? <laughs> tampoons. Okay, now I've never used these. The pots, Linda, you can get them Walmart, Dollar General, uh, Dollar Tree will have them, but they're the little seed pots and they're called I call them peat pots because this is like biodegradable and you start your seeds in these pots and then you put this in the, end up putting this in the soil and it will, it's biodegradable. <coughs> yeah, that's the same ones they've had for a long time. That's why I said y'all probably had them. But y'all know these things. I've never used these as you can tell. But it's got little pearls and I'm wondering if that's gonna fit. It's a jewel border sticker. So I wonder if that'll fit around the top. We're gonna find out so y'all see, y'all will know if, it, if it's gonna work or not. Let me test it out first. <laughs> and then y'all will know. I think it comes off in this big long thing. Like that. So let's see. Where's the back gonna be? Where's gonna be the bag? We find the best side and make that the front. Okay, so let's let this be the back. This is 
That's cute. Why have I never used this stuff before? This is really cool. You just kind of... Oh, wow, look at that. And look, let me show you how, it, how close to meeting in the back it came. Look. <laughs> Almost perfect. Look how cute this is. A heart rag wreath. Yes. Look how cute. I've been sleeping on these things. That is just really cute. Who knew? I brought them out today, though, but look, it dressed up that little pot. Here's the back. Look how it dressed that up. Isn't that cute? It's very cute. I don't know where, why haven't I been using those things? Okay, <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna put this in here. I'm not gonna put a handle on this one. This is rosemary. Well, let's see what else I got. Let's see what else I got. I got boxwood. I got whatever this stuff is. I don't know what that is. Boxwood, you know, boxwood's always a good idea. Oh, you decorated your Christmas tree. That is so cool. Why have I not used those little strips before? I'm gonna put some boxwoods in there. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen it a bunch of times and I, I have some of it. I just don't know why I've never used it, but it's super cute. How much of this do I have? All right, let's, put, let's use this boxwood. Oh, and you have those? Yes. I mean, I, why have I not? I don't know. <laughs> I know now. And you can paint them. Paint what? The pots or the those jewel things? I right, am putting my. Where's the back? Okay, that's the back. Putting some greenery in here. And my foam. These are just, hey, Michelle, you're okay making bread pudding. Um, these are just pieces from my little bin where the scrap greenery goes, you know, where I don't throw it away. I just have a little bin that it all goes in and lives together. The jewels, you can paint them? What? Huh. But they're like rhinestone, shiny kind of stuff. They come in a lot. I'm gonna have to start looking for them, I swear. Those are the, the coolest thing ever. I mean, look at it around the top of that pot. Look, it's all glammed up now. I'd, who would have known? Never knew. All right, come on, we gotta have enough. <laughs> yeah, did she make enough bread pudding for all of us to have some? This looks really tall. down some more. Oh, I got the little dots and the little pearls and all right, this piece is too tall. I've decided. It's going in the middle, but it was way too tall. There we go. Now, you need it. There's Christmas branch. Okay, so there's my, where's the front and here's the back, here's the back. So there's my little greenery. The, and the first one with the handle. And I could put a handle on this. Um, handle? Does it need a handle? Hmm. Like the sugar eggs I made. His Elvis ghost. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. I'm going to break these out. I have had these beads for I don't know how long. We're going to make a fancy handle. They're from Michael's. They're like one of those big, um, tall cylinder things. Um, maybe I should do the pink. Yes, I am. And, um, the cylinder thing finally busted, broke, because it's been moved around my craft room so much. And 
I put them in this bag and I've never used these beads, but they're like just plastic, plastic beads from Michael's. And here we are. You use old bracelets. That's cool. I want to collect, me and Shaney want to collect a lot of those um, brooches and broke jewelry and stuff through the year and then make a Christmas tree on like a black velvet type thing in a frame. Put the hearts on it like the flowers. Okay, is this going to look too kind of eh? Is that too... Is that gonna go with my bling or should I leave off the beads? What do y'all think? Tell me, tell me. And you could do wood beads. And I have wood beads, but I got the bling going on. So I don't know. Is that gonna be without? That's what I'm thinking, Donna. I'm kinda like, I don't know if I like that. That pink is kinda, it's too pink. All right. Next option. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking too. All right, and then there's baby pink. See the white, is, that one in the middle is baby pink. Oh, out of brooches. Now I have heard people doing that without. Okay, so do y'all like this pink better? Or not at, don't do it at all? See, it's barely pink. Oh, I'm going to add some hearts in there. Yes, I am. Make a little... Okay, so everybody's saying without. So leave it out. Okay. Natural colors. Okay. Without. All right. I'm listening to y'all. Beads are going up. But we had to try. Had to try. Okay, there's that. Now, I think... So y'all know I have, like y'all do, you probably have all this Dollar Tree. These are from the bridal section at Hobby Lobby. These. Kind of like in that shape. Put the bling on the floral wire. Okay, I don't have any bling though out here that I could put on string on there really quick. <coughs> a natural wood, a natural wood heart like this. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. I just had a thought. So I have these hearts. These are from the bridal section, Hobby Lobby. I got a whole bunch. And then this one's from the Dollar Tree. And. Another shape. I'm hoping to get a smaller one, but I don't see a smaller one. Anyway. Oh, let's do this. Let's put that one back. It'll make us a little topiary. A little heart topiary. All these are Dollar Tree, so they have that sticky thing on the back. Put glitter on the hearts. Yes. Ooh. I just had a thought. Gotta have a little bit of glitter. Perfect for Valentine's and spring. Yeah, I'm so ready for spring. Can you tell? I'm trying to bring in the green. Everything's dead outside. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, what if I did, like, on my kebab stick, and I did three. Uh, no, it is, um, it's from Beware, like, two years ago. I mean, I, they probably don't have it anymore, <clears throat> but they have other stuff like it. They do have a lot of scripture shirts and all that stuff. Tanya with Hummingbird Painery. There's my friend, Tanya. Moved to Texas. Okay. So, I'm going to take that bubble gum, and I'm just going to wipe it on and wipe it right back off. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a... 
It's just got a hint of pink. I wiped it too much right there. So thank y'all for hanging out with me. All right, let's see. I don't want to go really bright. Yeah, a couple of years ago. This is cotton candy, I think. Come on. Uh-oh. And it's like a, it looks like cotton candy. But it's a different shade. Ooh. I went way too much with that. But yeah, I think we need some glitter or something. I was trying to do a couple of shades of pink. So maybe I need to do that pink and then wipe the other pink over it. <laughs> so I can get another color. Maybe, maybe. Eh, it looks all the same color. <laughs> Look, y'all, how? How, how, how? Sometimes I have to just take a bath. All right, so glitter. Hold on. Let me stand up and then sit back down because I can't reach it. My favorite. So let's do this. Whoops. Put a little Mod Podge down. So this isn't going to take away from the color, but it will mute it down a little bit. But this is that clear glitter that I love so much. I call it sugar glitter. It's kind of like the glitter version of Diamond Dust. Because, you know, I like Diamond Dust, but I don't know where I'm going to end up putting this. And I don't want shards of glass in my kitchen or anywhere else. Okay. Can you see that Mod Podge? Okay, but y'all can see it. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? You know how many times you've needed the sugar glitter? Well, it came from Michael's. If you'll go to the kids section where the kids glitter is, that's where it is. And this is going to last me a very long time. <laughs> but I like it. It's, it, looks, it looks like I sprinkled sugar on these pieces. So it doesn't really take away from the color. It just gives it that little sparkle. But it's not glass. So see, it's still pink, but it has that, it looks just like sugar. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. I like it. Because sometimes you need a little bit of glitter. Just a little bit. Okay, where's that one? See it? All right. So now, it's back there. So this little plant, it's got kiss, 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 kiss all over the pot. So we know it's Valentine's, but I gotta sneeze. <coughs> I guess I'm allergic to the glitter. Yeah, I can still see the color and that's what I like about it, but it does tone it down just a little bit, the color. <laughs> Cause it's not real bright pink anyway. I like it better than the diamond dust just because that has glass. And I, and I do use, I do have diamond dust, but like I said, if I end up putting this in my kitchen or somewhere like that, I just don't want glass, you know, cause it does come off of your project. If you shake it or move it around or it gets, um, Falls off. <laughs> Bless you. Thank y'all. I'm trying to hold this down and glue at the same time. Okay. <sighs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me 
as well. Y'all know it's better to craft with friends. All right. So there's my little... Isn't that cute? So let's... We'll break it off. Let's break it off down here first. And then I may, I'll probably end up breaking it off some more. Stick, stick our little hearts in my little plant. Hang on. Look how cute this is. Hold on. Let's bring it forward a little bit. Damn. Look how stinging cute. And those are just those little Dollar Tree little stickers um, that y'all probably all have in your bin somewhere. Look how cute. Thank you, Brenda. Hey, Janet. That felt like a splinter. I was talking about diamond dust and it felt like a piece was in my finger. <laughs> y'all know how that feels? It doesn't feel good. Um, look how stinking cute this is. It's really cute and just so simple and y'all these little pots you could just go on and on and on and just keep on doing stuff to this I could put let's see what if I put let's do this let's do this let me get these things back out I'm just amazed I love these things now I'm all in I'm gonna have to buy when I see them again I'm gonna have to buy some more I think I'm gonna cut. Oh, y'all, my nose is wanting to run. I have to cut that one off. I put it in the middle. Look how cute. See, I put it right in the middle of that heart. You can just keep cutting them off and put them on there. Thank you all so much. Let's see. You have to waste one though because it shares this other dot. Let's see if I put that on there. But sometimes you just ooh, just need to get out all your stuff and play. Oh, y'all, it went down in the. It went down in the... It's gone. <laughs> it's down in there somewhere. <laughs> and I'm not going to go digging for it. Hold on. Let's see. These aren't the easiest little things to cut. I got one too many jewels. Okay. That wet Mod Podge might help it stay on. Yeah, sometimes you just have to do simple. And y'all know me. I love stuff that's budget-friendly. I love stuff that's simple. And most anybody can make it happen and do it. I like, I love projects like that. Because we just took some simple things and you just put it all together. Look how cute my little, look at them. Isn't that just adorable? You'll grow diamonds. Yeah, diamonds are going to grow from down in there because I lost one. <laughs> it's down in there somewhere. Who knows where it is. Now my plant's coming apart. I know. You could just keep going and just keep going and we could put stuff on it. I mean, of course, there's a point that you need to stop. But this is so cute. And if you had like a, a little banquet that you had to decorate for or a little something or you need to get something to your co-workers or your Sunday school friends or something like that. These are so stinking cute. And like I said, you don't have to put plants in them. You could put uh, like Hershey Kisses or you could put, or if you have like grown children or grandkids or something, you could put candy in it and put a gift card in there or something like that. And you don't have to put the flowers in them. But y'all, these are so cute. I love crafting with these pots. Love it, love it, love it. Um, look at there. Aren't they cute? I just, I can't. And the baby ones, they're so cute. That, okay, now I see. 
I see something's wrong. This side is too high on this one now that I look at it. Hey, Sharon. Thank y'all for the hearts. Okay. Now, I looked at it and I thought, that side looks way higher than the other side. The little, These little pink flowers, I have no earthly idea. Or these. I, To be honest, I don't know because they're like little twigs that I've been... Okay, well, this one has a price on it. See, I've been pulling off this one forever. Okay, this says Bloom, so I know it's Joann's, but I've had it for a long time. Um, this one, I have no idea. I don't know. But, y'all, when springtime comes, Michael's is, like, the place to go get your florals. They have the prettiest floral section and they're probably starting to put it out now oh my gosh they're they have like a whole wall of like all these spring flowers and it's like oh my gosh i could just buy all of them because i love all of those flowers and they look so so cute see you thursday k thank you for coming on y'all look how sweet and you could just like put these little things here and there in your decor and they are just precious look at that I love this. <laughs> and all I did was glue it to a skewer. Or you could put it on the floral wire and make it all wavy and whatever you wanted to do. <laughs> Thank you. I just try to do stuff that's, you know, that I like, but it's not going to break the bank. And, but it ends up looking like that we did. Um, I think it's so cute. I mean, it's just something as simple as that. And the handle, you could put beads on it. You could corkscrew the wire like somebody said. Good night, Enid. Good night, Debbie. Thank y'all for coming on and watching. I know their florals are beautiful. And the way they have them all put out, it just makes my heart just go pitter-patter because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You just want to take a picture in front of their floral wall. It's so pretty. Thank you, Donnie. So cute. And look at the baby pot. These are, I mean, these would be cute for, like, little kids and put a little handle and put a couple of Hershey Kisses in. You know, they come in the cute wrappers for Valentine's Day, and they would be simply adorable to put in there. And you can you see a little girl, like a little three-year-old girl, walk around with her little bucket, <laughs> her little pail. Thank you, Rita. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not, well, it's not Diamond Dust, but it's called... I got mine at Michael's. Hobby Lobby has it too. And I want to say it's called Crystal. Is the color of the glitter. It's glitter. It's, you know, it's plastic. But in Michael's, it's in the creatology section where all the kids crafts are. And it's just called glitter. It's, there is no color name or anything. <laughs> For me doing Dollar Tree or inexpensive crafts. I do. I try to make stuff from scratch <laughs> mainly all the time. Um... But y'all know I have super cute wood kits in my shop. Um, now that I can ship again, now that everything's back thawed out and the post office is going to start working again. Because um, we hadn't had any, couldn't travel on the roads. But anyway, that's the glitter from Michael's. But I know Hobby Lobby has it. And on the bottle of the glitter, it just says crystal. That's the color. Because it's just, it's basically little clear pieces. And that's all it is. And I love it. And I use it all the time. <clears throat> yeah, stay warm, friends. We're going to get a heat wave coming on this week. So I can't wait to get to 60 degrees. I'll have the door open. I'd be so excited. But y'all, I know y'all are going to knock these out of the park and make them super cute. But that's those little wood stickers from Dollar Tree. And it's sweet. You miss Michaels. You don't have a Michaels, Tanya? What? So... Very cute. Thank you, Cheryl. Y'all are so sweet. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here on my page and making it what it is and supporting me. And I will definitely see y'all Thursday night. Favorite is one of the three hearts in the... I know. So you could dress them up, dress them down, however you want to do it. Do some button flowers like somebody suggested. And if you... If I... have if I called your name, Joanne Frisbee, Cindy Clark, Beth Jones Jenkins, and Mary Langston... <coughs> Excuse me, message me your address and I will share my buttons with you. 
I know it's so simple and it can be dressed up or down. And then when you got tired of it, you could just toss it or pull the stuff out. It's just paper. So, and they could be made vintage or they could be made really cute and updated colors. I mean, so much you can do. So much you can do. So fun. Yay. Thank you, Erin, for being here. Oh, I've got something in my finger right there. It's poking me. All right. I'll see y'all Thursday. Y'all have a good week and love y'all. Thank you for being here. Bye.